Paris. It's getting late. Where to now? <sighs> I've taken care of your wounds. I'm running short on medical supplies these days, though, so behave yourselves and stay away from trouble. You hear me? Don't pretend you didn't hear that, Hook. I'm talking to you. Hook wasn't the one that caused trouble. It was those bad guys. We were just defending ourselves. Ask him. See? You are going to spoil that kid. <sighs> That's enough for now. I'll say this one last time, Hook. If you cause any trouble again, I'll take Diggertron away. Do you understand? Mm, Hook understands. The boss of the moles should stick to her word. <laughs> I have patience to take care of. See you later. Thank you again. I if it weren't for you and Dr. Natasha, Hook and I probably would have been in big trouble. <sighs> well, 
A few days ago, I found a Geomarrow vein using a vein detector, and I sold this info to Antonia, a, a supervisor of the mining team. Then, those vagrants heard about it and accused me of being a traitor. They believe that since I'm also a vagrant who came from another mine and ended up in here for a living, I should naturally be on their side. The mining team could not agree with that, of course. <sighs> I'm just too old for this. Daddy, are we short on money? Why did you do that? My poor child. Daddy is old now. <clears throat> Who knows how long I can stay by your side. I have to start preparing for your future. People say I'm selfish, think I'm a traitor, but it doesn't matter to me. All you need to know is when I'm gone, you will have the money to take care of yourself and survive on your own. Daddy... Forget about it. Since I've got the money from the mining team, I have nothing to complain about now. It's just a shame that I lost my vein detector. It was indeed a treasure. I guess so. It's an ancient relic that can detect geomarrow veins. It's very rare. I haven't seen a second one in my life. I often carried it around looking for a new claim. I suppose some villains must have taken notice. Uh, anyway, I guess I don't need the detector anymore. The less trouble, the better. I shouldn't care who stole my device. <laughs> Whoever it was, I hope they get good use out of it. Hook seems to be giving me a look like... I want to talk to you outside the clinic now. So that's why people call eyes the windows to the soul. to repent. Misery.
Reach the end of the story in your own way. most trusted miner. Uh, not at all. Mr. Fursman trusts every vagrant, and every one of us trusts Mr. Fursman. But after what happened over at that Geomero vein, the atmosphere at the shelter became a bit tense. I'm here to find Daddy's treasure, his vein detector. I heard that someone stole it. Is that true? Well, I would guess that's probably true. After the conflict in the mine, Wildfire gathered everyone out of the shelter and took a head count to check on the wounded. Four people were not there. When we returned to the shelter, Mr. Fursman's detector was gone. We searched all around the shelter but found nothing. I guess one of those four people was the thief. Yes. The shelter was usually crowded, so thieves would have had a hard time stealing things when everyone was around. We vagrants have our dignity, too. I'm sure we will catch the thief, but... But... what? Actually, we've already asked those four suspects about it. They all claim to not have stolen anything. Of course, we could never expect thieves to confess and turn themselves in, right? In my opinion, one of those four was lying. I agree. All four suspects are at the shelter. If you're feeling confident, why not give it a try? Maybe you can determine who the thief is. Ugh, adults are so dishonest. Hook's gonna question them one by one. What's this? Playing detective, are we? Spill it! Did you steal my daddy's detector? You little brat. How dare you label me a thief? Someone needs to give you a good lesson on manners. I'm an honest and decent man. I'd never do such a shady thing. <laughs> Anyone can say that. If you really didn't steal anything, then just answer our questions. Oh, you have a temper, huh? All right, I'll spare a couple minutes for your little detective game. I'm a cook. What else would I be doing? Don't you notice the smoky cooking smell all over me? It's just that I happen to be out shopping for ingredients at that time. Otherwise, who'd want anything to do with this kind of thing? That old Fursman was kind to me. When we were at Rivet Town, he put me in charge of the whole mining team's food supply. And it's because I trusted him that I came to this mine with him. I mean, I didn't expect he would take that money for himself. Anyway, he found that Geomero vein by himself, so I won't blame him for not sharing. But you know, what he did was not like the old Fursman I knew. Well, I don't want to be a snitch, but out of my respect for Fursman, I'll tell you a secret. The helper over there, I saw him sneak into Fursman's tent and come out holding a box. See? Isn't he the most suspicious one? <laughs> I don't care if you believe me or not. I told you all I know. 
Now leave me alone if you don't have any more questions. I'm busy. Did you steal Daddy's detector? Nope. I'm no thief. Really? Then you better answer our questions honestly. Ask away. Let's not waste time. Mm, spacing out. Didn't notice anything. Good man. But a bit of a cheapskate. Nope. What detector? Hey, would you mind talking more nicely? What? I always talk like this. I don't feel like she's the thief. Well, it's the hunch of Pitch Dark Hook the Great. What's the matter? Did you steal Daddy's detector? What? Oh, if I'd known I would become a suspect, I wouldn't have gone out at that time. How foolish of me. We just need you to answer a few questions. Okay. Ask away. It would be good to clear myself of suspicion. Nothing special. I just went out to get some fresh air. Oh dear, oh dear. I know that's a lame alibi, but I swear it's the truth. Mr. Firstman? He's a good person. Though... Oh, it... Uh, never mind. Oh no, oh no. I must sound very suspicious, but I really didn't do anything. You have to believe me. Detector? No, I haven't seen anything, and I don't know anything. Is that all the questions you have? Have I proven my innocence? Hmm. Oh dear. All this waiting around is enough to make me even more anxious. Did you steal Daddy's detector? How could you say that? You're gonna make me angry. You know what a businessman values the most? Reputation. If your slander ruins my reputation and harms my business, you'll pay for that. Uh, well, then answer our questions. We'll decide if we believe you or not. I have the right to remain silent. Withhold my opinion toward this question. No comment. Oh, you would... oh, I'll give you one more chance. Think carefully and give your answer to Diggertron this time. You little brat. Grow a couple of feet taller before you think about threatening me. Here, how about we make a deal? I'll tell you what I know, in exchange for a small intel service fee. Fair and honest. Great. I like your style. Customers who don't fuss over the price are the best. So what do you want to know? Ask away. I went into town to restock. Nothing out of the ordinary, right? I restock on a regular basis, everyone knows that. I was wondering why there was nobody at the shelter. Fersman is an old customer of mine. He's pretty nice to me, though we are not so close. As to what he did about that Geomero vein, it was kind of unethical. We're all neighbors. We've known each other for a long time. But he sold out to the other side and left his own people out to dry. I really can't agree with that. Look, the cook is definitely the thief, I'm sure about that. 
I value my reputation more than anything, so you can trust me. What do I have to gain from lying to you? Wildfire coming for me in the night? Trust me, something's definitely fishy with that cook. I could tell from the start. If you don't believe me, just ask anyone. Don't worry, I've written it all down for you. Remember, among these four people, only the real thief would lie. <sighs> the cook said the helper did it. The tailor said it wasn't her. The merchant said it was the cook, and the helper said it wasn't him. So, do you know who the culprit is? But I'll trust your judgment. Come on, let's go accuse the culprit. Look, figured it out. You're the one who stole Daddy's detector. What? <laughs> you have the wrong person. I didn't steal anything. <laughs> I knew you'd suspect me. I shouldn't have returned to the shelter at that time. If only I hadn't returned to the shelter. I really didn't do it. I don't know anything. You, you just think I'm a pushover. That's why you're treating me like this. <laughs> You deduced wrong! What kind of reasoning are you even using? I beg you, I never even stole pocket money from my parents as a kid! I'm wrong and innocent person! <laughs> huh. Maybe he really isn't the thief. Huck doesn't think he's lying. Well, just think about it. Sweta said that only the real thief would lie to us. If the thief really is the helper, then what he and the merchant said would both be wrong. <laughs> Adults are all so unreliable. Let's go look for more clues. Let's go look around where Daddy kept the detector. Maybe we can find some clues there. the label from a supply box. I know where those boxes are. That way, let's go take a look. to have taken Daddy's treasure. And it seems that this damaged probe is one of the detector's components. Has Daddy's treasure been sold already? Oh, where could the thief have gone? Hmm. Think, Hook, think. Oh, yeah. I saw Mr. Sampo on the way to the mine when I came here. Could he be involved in this? Follow Hook! Mr. Sampo should be that away! Mr. Sampo's always at the clinic hanging around Miss Natasha. Hook thought he was really sick or something. If he's working with the thief, then he's also a bad guy! 
My friend, are you serious? This device is quite rare. Are you really willing to sell it to me at such a low price? No, no, why are you making this so complicated? Do you want it or not? Just tell me. You two stop right there! Pitch Dark Hook the Great has arrived! Just doing a little business. What's all the fuss? Oh boy, I knew it was too good to be true. I, I gotta make this clear. I have nothing to do with this fella. You have to trust me. Miss Hook, please don't point that thing at me. It's scary. Hey, how can you sell me out like that? We had a deal. You, you stole daddy's treasure. Diggertron will not spare you. This, this is all that old Bursman's fault. Just because he has this device I'm holding, he can make a fortune. It's not fair. Um, well, it seems you guys have some issues to sort out, so maybe I should leave. <laughs> what kind of a reason are you looking for? With the underworld in such a sad state, how are we supposed to survive if we don't resort to robbing and stealing? <laughs> anyway, I got the device now. Come take it, if you have the guts. Diggertron, get ready. Clemency? Never heard of it. Time to twirl! What about this? You must be honored to me. Time to twirl! <laughs> you sure talk tough for someone who can't fight. Come on, hand the detector over to Hook. Now this is Sampo's time to shine. Of course! I wouldn't want to miss out on seeing you and Miss Hook's acts of heroism, would I? Listen here. There's a fellow in Bouldertown they call Balloway the Miner's Lamp. He's an appraiser. Although he claims that he doesn't do appraisals anymore for ancient relics, he actually still does a bit behind the scenes for ones that are of especially high value. I think this device of yours is probably worth a lot. It might be a good idea to try your luck with Balloway. Here's a trick. First, pretend that you want to sell it for a low price, then wait for him to excitedly fix the device for you. After it's fixed, tell him you changed your mind and you want to keep it for yourself. This business tactic is what I call a bait and switch. Pretty clever, huh? Slam. Got it! Thanks, Mr. Sampo. Let's go into town to find him! Have a safe trip! It's getting late. Where to now?
I'm already retired from appraising ancient relics, so unless this detector is some kind of precious treasure... Oh, look at this! The detector's probe broke off. Can you fix it? Hmm. Oh, ho, ho. This certainly is a rare relic. Let me take a closer look. Oh, yes! Look extra close. You have to help Hook fix it. This device... I've been in the business for a long time, but never have I seen an ancient relic like this one before. I think this is probably beyond repair. But still, it is a rare treasure. Even broken, I'd be willing to pay a high price for it. What do you say? The detector's probe is gone. It's like searching for something without eyes or ears. Now, it's nothing more than a pile of junk with no practical value. I'm willing to offer a generous price for this thing, so do you want to sell it or not? Hmm. All right then, let's go find Daddy. been hook i was just about to go looking for you come on let's go home i'll cook some salt baked rock crabs for you <sighs> what's wrong with this kid why what happened big brother and the hook helped daddy catch the thief that stole it but daddy's detector is broken! It's all my fault. If only I could have found it sooner. So it was stolen. You're not hurt, are you, Hook? I'm fine. Um, Daddy, can you see if your detector still works? Mm. The Geo Marrow probe is damaged. I'm afraid this thing won't work anymore. I'm sorry, Daddy. I didn't help one bit. What are you apologizing for? <laughs> Thank you so much for looking out for me, Hook. But Daddy's treasure... <laughs> Don't cry, Hook. Daddy's true treasure has been here all along. He was never lost. Or broken. Uh, uh, even you know what it is? The detector helped me find lots of Geomarrow veins, and it saved the mining team a lot of money. In that respect, it was a very good thing. But at the end of the day, the detector is just a tool. A true treasure must have irreplaceable importance to someone. Hook uh, doesn't really understand. <laughs> it's okay. I'm saying some things that might seem strange, but you will understand someday. 
So, the treasure daddy's talking about... ...is still happily running and jumping around. Daddy! <laughs> you... You're not allowed to see her cry! Go away! wasn't expecting. So, the moles are a part of wildfire. Ah, that's right. It's me, Pitch Dark Hook the Great! What do you want? <laughs> Kiddo, I think there's been a misunderstanding. I will be your guide, friends, by order of Chief Oleg. I gotta say I'm a little upset at the thought of you choosing a toddler over your old buddy Sampo. All right, all right, don't get started. But I want to ask you something. Everyone in Wildfire knows the location of Sparog's lair. Why do we need you as a guide? Uh, my specialty's in the field, perhaps. Wildfire may know where the base is, but have they ever been inside? You've been inside? No, but I felt my way around the outside and picked up more than a few clues. I can help you. You have my word. Hey, what are you trying to say? Name me someone above or below ground that walks the dock like Sampo Koski. My legacy will prove that Sampo Koski was nothing but a willing and devoted servant of... Enough! Jeez, we believe you, okay? Show us the way already! Great! Stay close. Oh, Sampo, are we there yet? Do you have to ask every other minute, Missy? Two more steps, just two more steps, and you're there. This is Sparog's lair? I thought it'd be cold and lifeless. Many vagrants are staying here temporarily. Their homes were overrun by monsters. Isn't it dangerous for them to make camp right under Svarog's metal nose? No. Svarog may be ruthless, but he never attacks without reason. For those with no home, this is actually a safe place to be. <laughs> if I hadn't moved away when I did, I'd probably be where they are right now. gate. Uh, okay, watch this! Open Sesame! Is that a secret code or something? It's an imaginary password that children like to use. And I don't think it's going to be of much use. Whoa, whoa. Pry it open? In front of all these vagrants and robots? They have eyes, you know. Luckily for us, I've already figured out the mechanism for this gate. They don't just let any Joe Schmo in and out of Boss Farog's territory. I mean, if you want to see the big cheese himself, you need certification. Uh, certification? Correct. Only prospectors with the right certification can get in or out. 
These prospectors collect mechanical remnants from all over the underground and then bring them to Svarog for him to repair. Honestly, it's a very profitable little venture. If only I beat them to it. <laughs> They'd be calling me Sampo Bosky by now. A timeout. Where do we get this certification? Oh, that's simple. You see the robots over by the vagrants? They're all Svorog scouts. Every one of them is commanded to maintain order here. Apart from them keeping a watchful eye on these hooligans, another one of their duties is processing. Anyone who wants to become a prospector has to pass a test from these walking stoplights first. Not a clue. <laughs> I never had the urge to go on a Svarog suicide mission before. You guys are the ones that want in. Why not go and ask the robots? It feels like the people here are all under the supervision of robots. This would be unthinkable on the surface. Robots are merely tools in the overworld. This has to be one of them, right? It looks so... lame. Is it even awake in there? Maybe it's broken down. <laughs> that scared me. Protocol. Initiating. Scanning. Verifying. Certification failure. Subject has yet to obtain access permissions. Launching processing. Huh? Are we starting now? Launching stage one processing. Please listen to the following question. Who is the reigning champion of the Internal Combustion Engine Wrap Tournament? Infernal construction what now? How would we know anything about that? Sampo, do you know the answer? Sampo Gasky always knows that. Wait, uh, what did it say again? <sighs> you supposed to be dependable? Well, I don't know everything. <sighs> Sometimes you gotta ask around if you want to know the answer. Don't panic. Let's listen in to what the vagrants are talking about. We might just hit the jackpot. Please answer the following question. Who is the reigning champion of the internal combustion engine wrap tournament? Incorrect answer. Certification result. Failure. Uh, you know, friends, if you don't know the answer, you don't have to pretend you do. No one's gonna laugh at you. Reassessing. Subject threat index. High. Initializing combat module. Threat elimination activated. Uh, combat module? This thing's faulty, right? Wishful thinking. It's about to attack. Don't mess with me. Clemency never hurt. Time to twirl! Let's make it quick. What about this? What a headache. Phew, that was scary. It just suddenly attacked! Hmm. This button says System Reset. Let's give it a try. System Reset. Successful. Certification sequence. Online. Please extend your right hand. My right hand? Here you go. Why is this part of the... Oh, hey! Hey! Ow! 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 So this is the certification mark? Great. Only two more steps to go. Let's move.
Protocol initiating. Scanning. Ugh, I'm so sick of repeating this. Huh? What did this bucket of bolts just say? <laughs> Seems like this one's got a temper. Ugh, let's get this over with. Did you get your first certification? If not, then you're wasting your time. You mean this? Here, look! Yeah, yeah, whatever. Here comes your question. Listen up. Riddle me this. A microcrystalline unit should be connected to which component? Wrong! Congratulations. Simple question. Terrible answer. It's back to school for you. Uh, can I smash this can opener already? Ha! You wanna go? You caught me in a bad mood. Let's do this. If we turn you into scrap metal, we still get our certification, right? Suits me! with me. coming right up. <laughs> now we're talking. Okay, please extend your right hand. Not you, the girl over there. Huh? Me again? It hurts, you know. Huh? ow. There you are, only one more to go. Now please leave me in peace. Whatever the case, we'll need it to identify our certifications. Hmm, there's something wrong with this one. Protocol. Inish, nish, 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 nish. Initialization failure. Attempting system restoration. Not encouraging. System restoration failure. Core module damaged. External threat detected. Threat elimination activated. Initializing combat module. <laughs> Finally, no more racking our brains. This rust bucket's about to meet its maker. Don't mess with me. Clemency? Never heard of it. This is our chance. What about this? Time to twirl! What are you looking at? <laughs> what a headache. <laughs> Learn how to behave now. Let me try and reset its system. Certification system online. Please extend your right hand. <sighs> Why is it always me? Ah, ah, ah! How come it hurt even more than the other two? <sighs> At least that's the final step. We can get. 
get in now, right? <laughs> Sparrow's certification system is no match for us. This better work. Let's get back to the gate and give it a go. So bad having Sampo on the team after all, huh? Right? Chief Oleg knew all along that I... Yeah, yeah. Thank you very much. I'll commend you to the Chief. No need to waste your time. All right. Well, let me issue a warning now. Everything from here on out is uncharted territory. We must proceed with the utmost caution. Now to set the record straight with Sparog. Let's get in there. Ooh, did anyone hear what I just said? like this gate has a more complicated structure than the last one. Sampo, what is this? Uh, huh? Sampo? Oh, where is he? Oh, where did he run off to? He was just here a second ago. Hmm. This isn't the first time. It's that same type of robot again. Ugh, please don't tell me there's another round of processing. Visitors for Zvarog detected. Protocol initiating. Scanning. Verifying. Oh, good plan. Treat the robots like guard dogs. How is that going to improve our chances? Certification failure. Subject has yet to obtain access permissions. Request rejected. Visitors must acquire access permissions from Ms. Clara. Clara? Oh, the girl we saw in the Great Mine? We need to get permissions from her? What's she got to do with this? Family. Huh, weird. Don't trouble yourself about it. We need to find her. I don't know if this will work, but it's worth a try. Where is Clara right now? Obtaining audio data. Please wait. The energy core is bearing component is broken. If we don't repair it soon, the settlement will be pitch black. Rivet Town. Maybe I can recover some usable components. You need to guard the gate while I'm gone. Recording recovery complete. Resuming execution of Clara's commands. She went back? But we were just there. Sounds like we better head over again. Wait, you guys went sightseeing in another town? Um, it wasn't as fun as you think. Indeed. And that little girl heading into the Fragmentum all by herself. It doesn't bear thinking about. Her strength belies her appearance, but even so... <laughs> you don't look so tough yourself. Well, let's find her. Svarag's not going anywhere. Oh, this is a big town. Where should we start? Claire said she was going to find components, right? 
Let's start with Nat's storage room. the end of the story in your own way. Make it quick. This. Haven't learned your lesson. Be silent. Don't mess with me. Step aside. I have. Keep at it. Keep at it. following Clara around? These can openers all look the same. How can you tell them apart? Shh. It's about to say something. Listen. Initializing self-repair module. Initialization failure. Clara in danger. Must protect. In danger? What do you mean? Workshop. Target. Must be in. Oh, wait. Does it mean that a monster appeared over at the workshop? Clara, she... Not good. She's in danger. Quick, let's head over to the workshop and check it out. I know the way. there and, and there's Clara we have to save her let's go no need to fear we have the numerical advantage <laughs> great <laughs> clemency never heard of it <laughs> Let's go. Uh, rules are made to be broken! Let's make it quick. Yeah. 
Is that all you've got? Let me pay you back. Tenfold! Be silent. What a headache. I'll free you from your chains. Disappear among the sea of butterflies. Illusions of the past! So you are afraid of me. <laughs> Step aside. I have no interest in stoking conflict. This sanctuary is but a vision! Are you okay, Clara? Are you hurt? Th thanks, everyone. I'm fine. Just a few scratches. You shouldn't be running around by yourself. It's too dangerous. What are you looking for here? There is a fault with one of the energy supply units at the base. If I don't repair it soon, everyone at the settlement will be affected. I knew there was a workshop in this town, so I wanted to try my luck here. I found all the components I need, but then I ran into a monster. You guys saved me. I'll tell Mr. Svarag about it. We were planning on paying him a visit. Uh-huh. What do you need to see him for? I can pass him a message. No. This time, we need to set things straight with him face to face. Can you take us to meet him? But... Mr. Svarog doesn't like talking to others. Especially Wildfire. <laughs> Don't I know it. But he's evaded communication with us for too long. This time, we have to see him. Um... I know you're working hard for the people down here, but Mr. Svarog doesn't trust human emotions. He only trusts his calculation results. So, I can't take you to see him. If Mr. Svarog and you had a fight, someone would get hurt for sure. Maybe even bystanders. Listen, kid, you... <sighs> Clara, you said it yourself before, right? Svarag's duty is to protect the underworld and preserve the civilization here. We have the same wish. Why would he refuse to cooperate with us? I know Mr. Svarag. He isn't affected by other people's wishes. He only follows logical judgments. Terrible things are happening on this world. Mr. Svarok thinks that the overworld will end soon. What? According to his calculation results, the strength of the underworlders won't be enough to prevent the disaster. His plan is to keep the underworlders away from the source of the disaster so they can survive for longer. Isn't that just putting us in a cage? It's ridiculous! What difference does it make if our death gets postponed a couple of days? How is that better than putting up a fight? I'll definitely return the favor, but not like this. Um, if you don't mind, I still have important things to do. I'll go back now. Clara! It's no use, Zila. She's made up her mind. I could tell from her expression. You will have to think of another way. That's no ordinary kid. So young and yet so... stubborn? No. 
Intelligent? She's incisive and determined. In sharp contrast to you, March. Did you really have to add that last part? It looks like we'll have to get past Clara if we want to speak to Svarok. If we circumvent Clara and the gate, Svarog will only identify us as intruders. He'll be even more likely to give us the cold shoulder. Mm, isn't a robot shoulder cold to begin with? Clara mentioned Svarog's calculation results many times. The strength of the Underworlders won't be enough to prevent the disaster. Those were her exact words. For me, that's our starting point. So, you think Svarog's logic has a hole in it? No. His calculation is correct. At its current strength, it is highly unlikely that Wildfire would be able to resolve the problems stemming from the Stellaron. However, that calculation didn't take the present situation into account. There's a new variable yet to be added to the equation. Hmm, <clears throat> precisely. If we can make Svarag believe in us, we can almost certainly overturn the result of his calculation, and we'll be one step closer to peace talks. But how can we get him to do that? <laughs> Showing him some of our photos wouldn't cut it, right? <sighs> There's always a way. But first, we have to convince Clara. I assume she must be on her way back to the robot settlement. Let's catch up with her. She turned that way, quick! Keep looking. the end of the story in your own way. Keep at it. Keep at it. Keep at it. We need a strategy. Make it quick.
Clemency? Never heard of it. Let's go. Ha! Fight to win. Be silent. Don't mess with me. your misery. So this is defeat. Step aside. I have no... Make it quick. What about this? As you wish. What a headache. Clemency? Never heard of it. Let's go. Your number is up. As you wish. Past victories don't guarantee future ones. Hmm. Why won't it... Ah. I can't figure it out. Oh, it's you. You came with me after all. Keep saying that, but are you repairing this installation, Clara? Hit a snack? Huh? How did you know? The dimensions and wear of these two roller components look very different from the rest of the unit. You must have only just replaced them. You replaced the damaged components, but the unit isn't starting up as normal. That's what you're trying to figure out. Right? Yeah, I fixed a lot of things before, but I never had to repair one as complicated as this. Why isn't Svarog helping you? I don't want to disturb him. This installation was... accidentally damaged by two of the vagrants. If Mr. Svarog finds out, they'll get in big trouble. You know, Clara, if you're too kind, people can take advantage of you. Ah. 
I think I found the source of the problem. You replaced the rollers, but the bearing is causing a jam. And there's a misalignment. You two, give me a hand. We should be able to fix it between us. More fixing? I'm getting good at this! Can we really fix this? Relax, we got this! Right, Don Hung? Less asking, more helping. We hardly lifted a finger. So, the settlement's energy supply problem is solved for the time being? Yes. The people on the outskirts don't need to worry about heat or light now. Um... You're good people. You helped a lot of the injured in the mine, and you risk going into the town for supplies. If there's any other way I can help you, I'll do my best. But this... Uh, how are we gonna convince her? The present situation is... Uh, we're here! This planet isn't doomed after all! Clara, you're observant, right? Take a look at us! Do we look like underworlders? Well... Uh... You do look very different from other people. Right! That's because we're not from here! We've never been a factor in Sparog's calculations! And if those calculations are based solely on the strength of the Underworlders, then the results don't apply to the present situation. When did Svarog start doing his calculations, Clara? It was... a long time ago. The same time the Underworld was sealed off, I think. Circumstances have changed since then. There's a Silver Mane Guard down here now. Is that part of Svarog's calculation? Not to mention we're... Just tell her already! We come from a different planet. There's just no way that Svarog's calculations would have included variables like us, you know? Different planet? Don't treat me like a child. Those are just made-up stories that grown-ups like to tell. I don't... Hey. He and Marge aren't lying, Clara. I believe them. Branya... Do you really...? I know how you feel, Clara. You want new hope for the underground, but you don't want anyone to get hurt in the process, right? I also have doubts, but my gut tells me that March, Dan, Hung, and he, they are the new hope this world has been waiting for. Let them meet Svarag, and let's see if his calculation result is any different for you, for him. There's no harm in trying, right? Mr. Svarov. Really? Awesome! Mm, I understand now. Trying to change Mr. Svarov's mind on my own would take forever. Even if I kept trying until I was all grown up, I don't think I could do it. And all the while, people would be getting sick, losing their homes, and fighting. Just like in the mine. 
I don't want that to happen. If you guys really believe that you can convince Mr. Sparog, then I need to be brave too. Everyone, follow me. Branya, I didn't know you'd stick up for us like that back there. Well said. It was nothing, I just said what I truly felt. Mr. Sparog. Outsiders detected. Do you wish to permit access? It's okay. They're all my guests. Command receives. Access restriction terminal unlocked. Welcome back, Miss Clara and guests. Uh, if you can. Please try not to upset Mr. Svarov. It's okay, Clara. We're here to reason with him. I'll leave negotiations to you guys. They're not my strong point. Negotiating with robots. I can't say I've tried it before. Are you ready? I'm back, Mr. Svarov. I see that the energy supply system is back online. Thank you, Clara. But why have you brought them? Mr. Svarog, they want to talk to you about going to the surface. Analyzing. Analysis result. Target does not belong to wildfire. Background unknown. Classification unknown. You have arrived on Clara's recommendation. I will give you an opportunity to speak. Oh, uh, hey, sounds like he's willing to communicate. Quick, time to smooth talk him. You seek peace. Understood. Nevertheless, your statement is unilateral. My position will be determined after assessing the result of our negotiation. Proceed with your central point. Do not waste this world's valuable time. Uh, he cut you off completely. This guy. Stay focused. Remember, we have to make him see that we're a variable in the calculation. Stellaron. Searching database. Access denied. Discussing Stellaron with unauthorized targets. Prohibited. You are broaching a secret that lies at the heart of this world. A secret that should remain unknown to humanity. Reassessing targets. Threat index raised. I demand that you reveal your true intention. Mm, as expected. He knows of the Stellaron. But it's a restricted topic. We've come this far. Out with it already! Just be straight with him. Everything depends on it. Historical records state that humanity has already made multiple efforts to engage with the Stellaron. Without exception, these efforts have been motivated by human greed. Attempts to secure the article for a selfish end. As instructed by the Architects, any attempt to engage with the Stellaron will result in grave consequences. Reassessing. Target Threat Index Critical. Uh, what should we do? This is going from bad to worse. There is no evidence to suggest you are an exception. Calculation result remains unchanged. 
peacekeeping protocol temporarily disengaged. Requesting extermination protocol launch. E extermination? In the literal sense? Peace talks are over. March. Prepare for combat. Mr. Sparog, please don't! Leave, Clara. Clara, it's dangerous here. Find somewhere to hide. <sighs> Looks like we have to take action after all. Prototype number three. Monitoring Automaton Svarag. Extermination protocol launch. Successful. Annihilation permitted. Purge initiated. Executing operation. Let's make it quick. Uh, rules are made to be broken! Let's go. Is that all you've got? Let me pay you back tenfold! Step aside. I have no interest in stoking conflict. This sanctuary is but a vision. I'll free you from your chains. Disappear among the sea of butterflies. Illusions of the past. Analysis complete. can you put up your best fight without a doctor on the battlefield? All of you, stay focused. I'm right behind you. Nat, uh, how did you... Guess you guys had a bad talk, huh? Luckily, Sampo's got your back. Sampo! <laughs> I knew you'd be involved somehow. Base breached. Armed wildfire personnel detected. Assessing. All subjects are high-risk individuals. Commencing complete annihilation. Execute annihilation. Calculating result. Disappear among the sea of butterflies. Illusions of the past! Ugh, great. Clemency? Never heard of it. This sanctuary is but a vision! Is that all you've got? Let me pay you back tenfold! As you wish. Never! Let's make it quick. What about this? What a headache. Forcing. You've exceeded the threshold. Individual. Ladder up. Burge initiated. Just a scratch. Executing operation. I can't protect you anymore. Clemency? Never. Don't mess with me. Uh, rules are made to be broken. Complete. It's more than that. 
truth of life and death, revealed in an this sanctuary, is but a vision. Inside the cage isn't beautiful. People still want to know what it's like. Assessment system reset. Successful. Processing variables. Variable one. Clara's request. Variable two. Outsider's intentions. Updated assessment result. Transference of decision-making authority to outsiders. Outsiders are granted access to Stellaron intelligence. So... so we did it? Yeah, without her, even if we defeated Sparog, there's no way he'd have given us access to the intel, right? I hope his memory bank really does contain data on the Stellaron. Is this it, Nat? Us? Wildfire? The Underworld? Did... Did we win? No, Zila. Our battle. Their battle. It's just beginning. feeling in my chest. I'm ready. Reveal the truth. I'm listening.
have finished collating the Stellaron data and records. Do you wish to proceed, outsiders? Requesting database materials cache, serial number 13175, encryption level highest. Request approved. Transmission. This is the fruit of many years of research, Madam Guardian. The evidence is irrefutable. This so-called Stellaron is the source of all the destruction. The people will struggle to accept this conclusion, Doctor. If we were to tell them that the almighty Elisa Rand activated this thing and triggered the eternal freeze... It's the truth, Madam. The truth won't change with the opinions of the people. The reports before you are the precious result of painstaking effort on the part of Bella Bog's greatest scholars. You must trust the weight of its conclusion. I have never doubted you, Doctor. On the contrary, I am resolute in the face of this conclusion. From the moment I took up this mantle, that voice, their voice, has made its home in my mind. I cannot shake them. I shouldn't be telling you this. Let's return to your research, Doctor. I'm afraid I cannot make these reports known to the public. Unless... Uh, unless? Unless what? Please, proceed, madam. Unless you have found a way to completely destroy the Stellaron. I understand. In the name of preservation, I will fulfill this mission. Cache number 13175. Transmission complete. Next transmission. Cache number 24830. I don't understand, Doctor. Why do we have to hide such valuable research results away? They're the work of a lifetime. You're, you're still young, child. There will come a day... A day when you do understand. This supreme guardian, she, she sees further than you or I. All her decisions are, are for the security of Bellabog. I just think it's a shame. Our research has hit an obstacle. Meanwhile, your results will be buried in the snow. <laughs> don't, don't be upset, child. You, you still have lots of time ahead of you. Uh, when you find a way to destroy... <coughs> destroy Estelaron, our efforts will have been worth it. Cache number 24830. Transmission complete. Next transmission. Cache number 57614. This is... Why is there a robot here? During his life, this was Dr. Mearsheimer's personal robot bodyguard. I heard it's a prototype from the Great War. Since the doctor and his assistants passed away, it's remained here. It hasn't moved an inch. Oh, I see. Let's start. We must unearth the doctor's research conclusions. All of them. Madam Guardian, I've found them. All the documents are here. Hmm. Good. That'll do. Madam Guardian, what should we do with the robot? Uh. It would seem a great waste to destroy it. Find someone to reset its system, and then arrange for it to be sent to the Underworld. I hear that the development group is in need of a robot with defense capabilities. Yes, madam. I'm sorry, doctor. But these results must be taken care of by the architects. One day, somebody will be able to carry out your behest. Cache number 57614. Transmission complete. Concluding data transmission. 
So... The truth is clear now, right? <gasps> and it would appear that they never succeeded. Now only one question remains. Why would Kokolia exhibit such a sudden change in her attitude towards us? Branya, are you okay? I'm, I'm fine. I just... I feel a little faint. Why? Why, Mother? Maybe... maybe she wasn't aware. Maybe she... I'm sorry. It's no use lying to yourself, Branya. It's time for you to make a decision. <sighs> hey, can I have a word with you? I know that we'll need time to process this new information, but we have to decide on our next plan as soon as possible. <sighs> the Furnace Core. The path to the surface is close at hand now. <laughs> Thank you. What you've done has brought new hope to the Underworld. Now, we have to wait and see. But maybe this will lead to a new lease on life. Well, you should really be thanking Sampo. If it weren't for his intel, we wouldn't have made it in time. As Wildfire's leader, I couldn't simply look on while you fought on our behalf. We had to come help. Huh? Huh? So you're the real chief? W what about Oleg? Oleg has always acted on my behalf. He helps me deal with all manner of problems in the Underworld. Thanks to him, I'm able to make time for the people. I do my best to make sure that they have everything they need. At the same time, I was formulating a plan to deal with Svarog. Your arrival unraveled that carefully crafted yet rudimentary plan. <laughs> and for that, you have my utmost thanks. <laughs> when the Underworld recovers its freedom, the people will indeed extol you as heroes. However, even though Svarog is no longer sealing off the Furnace Core, there's no way that we Undergrounders could go pouring onto the surface. That cold-blooded Supreme Guardian has used lies and tricks to keep the surface separated from the Underground. If she detects any change in the Underworld, I don't know what she might resort to. As for Wildfire, we need more time to build up our strength. No, but we need to wait for the opportune moment. In the meantime, I'm sending someone I trust to go with you. Zila. Didn't she tell you? In private, she insisted on accompanying you. Don't let her carefree nature fool you. She's actually very discerning and can read a situation like no one else. Zila is a talented scout and a quick thinker. She takes decisive action. She'll definitely be able to help you. Not to mention, you also have Branya now. You're right. But with Zila by her side, I know she'll recover. Hey, when's the last time you got some rest? I heard that you've been on your feet looking for Sparog since Rivet Town. Health is everything. You won't be much use if you neglect yours. Let Wildfire take care of the Furnace Core for now. You head back and recuperate. If you're lucky, perhaps tomorrow you can return to the Overworld.
equilibrium. The universe should be in equilibrium. The arbiters of the equilibrium are giving you a trial. For the equilibrium of all worlds, you must demonstrate your strength. The strong will be given greater opportunities. The weak, a chance to breathe. Passing the trial will prove that your strength has shaken the scales of power. Worlds will change, and thus, equilibrium. You will encounter stronger enemies, harder puzzles, and greater rewards. After equilibrium, you will go on to face yet more trials. You will obtain more, more of the material, more of the spiritual, more of the countable, more of the immeasurable. What is obtained will be in proportion to your strength, and thus in equilibrium. It is your choice to make, but in the end, equilibrium will be upheld. Equilibrium. It is for this that all worlds change. done with that whole situation in the underworld, we can finally look for the Stellaron. <sighs> but thinking about it, I feel a bit bad about Clara. We promised her that our talks with Sparog would go peacefully. You tried your best to persuade him. It's my fault for not preparing better for such a situation in advance. For you guys to start beating yourselves up over it. Look on the bright side. Things turned out all right, didn't they? Now everyone knows that the real problem here is the Stellaron, and they're willing to help us out. All in all, the mission is going super smoothly. But we still have a lot left to figure out. For instance... Exactly. There must be a reason for this sudden change in her attitude. And we still don't have the coordinates and location of the Stellaron. We still haven't put all of the pieces together. Dreams? Oh, I remember you mentioned something about strange dreams before. All three dreams were the same, with Kokolia and that other voice. It would be weird to call it a coincidence. I'm wondering if these dreams aren't just random, if there's some meaning behind them. Huh. Maybe you're having them because... Because of the Stellaron inside him? That's my hunch, but I have no proof. Well, then that's as good as nothing for now. So, what should we do when we get back above ground? After all this talk, we're still back at square one. We solve a puzzle one piece at a time. Let's get some rest. We'll talk to Wildfire tomorrow and get to the bottom of this. Also, 
There's still one more key character we haven't talked to yet. Her connection to Kokolia may be the key to cracking this mystery. Clemency? Never heard of it. This is our chance. Afraid of me. Let me end your misery. Who's next? This is our chance. What about this? Haven't learned your lesson. Be silent. Enemies ahead. Up for a scrap? <sighs> Great. Disappear among the sea of butterflies. Illusions of the past! Step aside. I have no interest in stoking conflict. This sanctuary is but a vision! Fight to win. As you wish. What are you looking at? Maybe you can keep it down. Haven't learned your lesson. Be silent. Time to twirl. The time is now. So you 
are afraid of me. <laughs> Time to twirl! Fight to win. As you wish. What are you looking at? Do you know who I am? Ever see a diamond this big? to me. <laughs> Step aside. I have no... What a headache. Disappear among the sea of butterflies. Illusions of the past. A sharp scythe needs targets. Enemies ahead. Up for a scrap? The truth of life and death, revealed in this sanctuary, is but a vision! Time to twirl! Clemency? Never heard of it. Haven't learned your lesson. Is that all you've got? Let me pay you back. Tenfold! Step aside. I have no shot. As you wish. Oh, poor you. Really felt it. Clemency? Never times now. What are you looking at? Maybe you can keep it.
Victory means preparation. I have no interest in so What a headache. Who's next? You have the worst luck running into me. With me out here, how can we lose? Naughty children, don't listen. Savor the vigor of I don't want to be alone. Clemency? Never heard of it. This sanctuary is but a vision. I'll free you from your chains. Disappear among the sea of butterflies. Illusions of the past. Time for a shot. Just a little something. <laughs> Think nothing of it. Here comes the medicine. The time is now. A sharp scythe needs targets. Enemies ahead. Up for a scrap? Children, don't let <laughs> Thanks. Don't mess with me. Who's next? Step aside. I have no interest in stoking conflict. This sanctuary is but a vision. I'll free you from your chains. Disappear among the sea of butterflies. Illusions of the past. Don't mess with me.
just in time. Just a little something. <laughs> Think nothing of it. Thanks! <laughs> time for a shot saver the vigor of life. Step aside. I have no... Here comes the medicine. That hurt. Clemency? Never heard of it. This sanctuary is but a vision! Naughty children, don't listen. <laughs> Here comes the medicine. Nap time. That hurt. <laughs> time for a shot. Just a little something. All better now? 